feel it dripping away. I'm out here on the chase, I'm not stopping, so don't get in the way. One does not skip a full Metal Alchemist intro. <laughs> Alright, it's been a while since I've reacted to this show, and I am back, and then more likely, right, I take a freaking break. But I, I I don't know. I I do like to put a lot of projects on my plate, and sometimes, you know, it's not doable for one human being. So there's going to be certain shows that I'm going to try to be reacting to at least once a week or something. And I feel like, hey, Full Metal Alchemist, you know, I, every goddamn reactor does this. They have to. This is like the anime to react to. It's, it's, it's an amazing show. So I'll be definitely doing like a Sunday Full Metal Alchemist reactions. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy that. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to this. <laughs> Yo, look at Datty. What is with that face, my guy? Oh, God. Ooh, can you imagine? He's like, ooh, Daddy is not going to be happy with me. <laughs> I don't even want to have that conversation with Daddy. <laughs> uh, right, they're finally at the master's house. <laughs> <gasps> Hello, Sig. Good to see you. Ah, oh, you go. I mean, that that would be a compliment to him. Ah! <laughs> oh, so she was sick before, huh? <laughs> wow. Oh my God, it's. <laughs> it's the big boss. <gasps> Mommy! Yo, she's scary. <laughs> but then she's so sweet. Ah! Or maybe that's all part of the plan. Sneaky, sneaky. That was gross. <laughs> it holds no interest for me. Oh, bluntly asking her, huh? Uh, how Hoenheim? Hoenheim? Oh my god, that's Daddy! Huh? Can't talk to Daddy. Alright. Oh, He's blaming their dad's absence as to why their mom got sick. Huh. Such a naive thing from a child. Jesus, yo, if I were to ever look at my son the way he did... Whoa! Like, father of the freaking year! Talk about a dude that, like, yo, I'm about to go get milk, I'll be right back. He never came back. What <laughs> a dick. <laughs> oh, don't tell me. Yeah, and again, naive children. I bet that killed her mom. Or their mom, you know. Damn, you can see... Oh, that is so subtle. You can see tears in her eyes. So, I mean... What happened? Like... Did just a burden of being a single mom... Hurt their mom? <laughs> Ah! Uh. <laughs> oh, so I'm fine. Alphonse E! No, we, we don't talk about the baby over here. <laughs> oh. Is this their first time meeting the Miester? Flashback time, watch, she was Moses. She's like, BAM! Split the water in half. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Poor kids. You two are on your own. This is your introductory training. If you do well, you'll move 
Whoa. Yo, do you think she Better trained All Might too? <laughs> <If not, yeah. laughs> um, that's scary. I don't. I've only ever been camping once, and it was fun, but it was with a group. You know, I can only imagine doing it alone. I mean, yeah, nature and all that good stuff feels nice, but then comes the part where. If you don't bring your own food, you're going to have to find it. And if you don't have your own shelter, you're going to have to find it. Those are not fun. And then, just like that, they know how to <laughs> catch a bunny. But then the hard part comes... ...of killing it. Oh, I just got the willies! Oh! Um... Weird. I love me some chicken and, and bacon and and and. and st oh, look at the, the fox took it. But if I were to actually see the animal, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> now they're gonna fish. <laughs> Damn. So they've been there. What could possibly be a day? <gasps> Never mind. It's been six days. Can you imagine? No, there's no way that they've gone six days without food. Oh. That answered it. Alright, so six days without food or water. <laughs> I was just about... They're gonna start hallucinating. You're gonna eat your own brother. What? <laughs> Oh my god! You gonna eat ants? Oh god. What? <laughs> oh god. Just learn about the circle of life by eating ants. <laughs> Damn, they hunted a, a shitload of animals. Yo, oh, can, no, uh, for a second now, like, can you imagine Eric, like, yo, you ever had Fox? <laughs> Whoa, they were there for a month. All is the world, and one is me. <laughs> okay. Very well. Now the real training starts. Um, I don't know if what was funny, but all right. <laughs> That was just awesome. Oh my god. Alright. If you think about it a certain way, I myself Oh. Tell us, teacher. Yeah, she's beyond. Perhaps it's something you learn when you Oh, she's gone to the other side. Oh. Eric just figured it out. Oh, is he about to confront her? <laughs> Whoa! On top of which, Al is now a suit of armor, and two of your limbs are being auto mail. Teacher, how did you know? Please, I can tell from sparring with you. Yeah, it only begs. It only begs to understand what did she give up? Never mind, that answers it. She gave up her baby, but for what? Right, the whole equivalent exchange. What? <gasps> oh, okay. All right. So she had a miscarriage. As a result, I lost parts of my inner organs. Oh. What an idiot I was. Oh. It's okay to hurt. Damn. That's a good question. 
Have they even had a chance to do that? Ever since the incident, they've just been on a trajectory, right? But have they ever had a chance to be like, yo, we fucked up, you know? Man, what a really good episode, uh, Full Man Alchemist. I couldn't take off my headphones there. Uh, I love how in today's episode we get to learn, I guess, uh, the definition of that equilibrium exchange, man. It's just bar none. Beautiful. I, I love the message of Full Man Alchemist. On top of that, we also got to, um, see the origin of Eric and Alphonse love. Not necessarily finding a master because they all seem kind of coincidental. Uh, but we got to see that side of them, you know, I guess, you know, uh, gathering their composure and pretty much, uh, fighting for, uh, that new survival, uh, redemption or whatever it is, you know. So they came across this woman, Kamazumi, who kind of like tra uh, trained them in martial arts and, uh, the art of alchemy, I guess. I love how we got that duality of, uh, the past and present. You know, we got to see how, you know, the yesterdays were to how they are now. Um, almost like the characters are almost identical, both in Izumi and the brothers, uh, Eric, who also now learn that their master has done the voodoo herself. She's, uh, done that a whole, you know, equivalent exchange kind of thing, that doom nation thing, uh, of wanting to bring someone back. She described about how she had a miscarriage and she lost her baby and she tried to, do what she could to bring the baby back, but in essence, she lost, I guess, uh, a part of her, some organs of her, um, just as much like the Eric brothers, you know, Alphonse lost his body, um, and Eric lost his uh, arm and leg. A very slow, but very methodical episode, because you gotta love the building uh, that the show's doing, you know, because you, you feel that threat of, Will these characters ever redeem their mistakes? And it's more of, can they, or will they, you know? So, yeah, freaking amazing show. So, all right, that about wraps up my video for today. What are your thoughts on it? So, discuss me down in that comment section. Feel free to like this video, or subscribe to my channel if you haven't before. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, support me on Patreon. And as always, God bless you. Thanks so much for watching, and farewell for now. Bye-bye.